Hi everyone, I have another decorative button for us to try today. This one has a nice spiral shaped top and more of a diamond shape here at the bottom of the knot. It's a little bit difficult to tie but if you already know how to tie the diamond knot I think you should be able to tie it pretty easily and if you don't know how to tie the diamond knot give it a go anyway because this one is a beautiful knot. I'm going to start this one off the same way I would tie a diamond knot so I'm just going to form a bite here in my paracord and I'm going to place that just over my middle finger and the way I like to do this is to wrap around my thumb so I'm going to take this right hand strand here and wrap it around my thumb from front to back until it crosses here and forms a loop I'm going to pinch that off where it crosses, just lift it off the thumb and then rotate a half twist away from you and place it over the strand running across your palm and then just hold it in place with your thumb there. I'm going to come underneath this right hand strand and grab the left and just pull that through. And now I'm going to weave it through the center here. I'm going to go over, under, over. So I go over this one, under that center strand, and then over this left lobe. I can pull that all the way through. And I should end up with a shape that looks like a pretzel and that's a carrot bend and at this stage I also like to take it off my middle finger next I want to take this right hand strand and I want to come around the top and feed it through this very left hand lobe of the knot here so from underneath just feed it through and you'll find that it creates its own lobe here then I'll take my other strand, the left hand strand and I'll come around and I want to feed it up through this very right hand lobe so I'll feed that up through the right hand lobe and you'll find that that also creates its own lobe Oops, sorry, down here. Next, I want to continue with this strand, the right hand strand, and I'm going to go up through that top lobe. And I'm going to take the left strand and go up through the bottom. then the finish is exactly like a diamond knot. I want to go around this leg here and then up through the center. So around the leg, up through the center of the knot and then the same with the other side. The strand here, I want to go around this leg and then up through the center. Take it right around up through the center of the knot. Then I can grab both of these strands and the loop that was down the bottom. Now I can gently pull and just push these lobes upwards. And now I have to feed slack through the knot. I'm just going to start at one end find the strand where it sort of exits and then pull slack all the way through. So just feed slack through the knot until we get to this upper loop here. And when we get to the loop, just pull the loop until it's almost closed but don't close it right down 
because you'll lose it in the center of the knot. We'll have to go around one more time and then finally close that one down. So just keep feeding slack until we get to the other side. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find which strand to pull. So if you can't find the strand, you're just going to have to experiment until you find the one that pulls the slack through. Okay, so that's our first tightening. And I'm going to go through uh, one more time and then pull this loop closed. And you should get the finished knot. You can already kind of start to see the spiral shape happening at the top. And the diamond knot here down the bottom. So I'm going to go through one more time and the second time I'm going to go through I'll close this loop right down, make sure you don't pull it into the center of the knot and then we should be finished. So I'm halfway through the second time tightening this up and now I just want to close this loop here so it's at this stage that we can close the loop right down just until it forms a little nub or button here at the top and then just continue feeding slack all the way through until the knot is tight. So here's the button after it's been fully tightened. Please share this video because that allows me to keep making content for you guys. Thanks for watching.